All right, good morning, families. Thank you for coming out uh, this morning in the rain uh, to our terrific kids' ceremony, our last one of the year here at Middleton Burney Elementary School. I want to thank you all for coming, and, uh, and I'm, I'm very excited to recognize some wonderful students this morning. My name is Joe Theobald. I'm the principal here at Middleton Burney, if we haven't met before. Um, and uh, I'm certainly pleased that we have an opportunity to recognize these students here at the end of the year. There are a couple of folks that we have to thank before we get started. And, uh, first off, our terrific kid team right here at the school, Miss Clayton, is uh, currently piecing together all of our students. A couple of them are, are dragging in a little bit slowly. Um, and then there's also Miss O'Kelly. Miss Angie O'Kelly really does terrific kids single-handedly here at the school. She makes sure all of the the um, folders are put together and uh, the awards are, are set up for the students. And so. Uh, I think it would be important to recognize the great job that she does as well. We wouldn't have terrific kids if it weren't for Kiwanis, and to represent that wonderful organization today, we have Mr. Charles Overturf to speak, if he'd say a few words. Thank you, Mr. Theobald. And on behalf of about 60 other members of his AE City, I just want to take a moment to welcome parents and grandparents and friends uh, to honor these young people here at Middleton Burney. Uh, as I look out over the audience, I see the, the balloons and the flowers and sometimes cakes and candies and all. It is a time to celebrate what they're doing. Uh, when we finish Friday, Lord willing, uh, we will finish 35 different ceremonies that we have this year throughout the whole county. And in the 35 ceremonies, it's over a little bit over 1,200 students. And so we say thank you to what they're doing here at Middleton Burney. Uh, we know they're accomplishing a lot. He'll be reading to you in a moment, you know, what the teachers and sometimes their classmates have said. So we're proud of each one of them. We're thankful for them. And as we end this school year, we just say, hey, keep reaching for the stars. Thank you. So if this is your first terrific kid ceremony, a little explanation of how we'll do things. Uh, we'll call up each student, read out what their teacher has written about them, and sometimes their classmates have written about them, uh, and then they will return to their seats. At the end of the ceremony, you're more than welcome to check your student out through the front office uh, if you'd like to take them home and celebrate with them, or they can just go back to class. That's fine as well. The, uh, the whole ceremony will be videotaped. You see Mr. McKinley's here, and uh, he is going to videotape it, and it'll be up on our Putnam School's YouTube channel, so it will be up w within just a few days. So by next week, you'll be able to watch the whole thing over again if you're interested. And without any further ado, we can go ahead and get started. Our first terrific kid is Giovanni Perez Lira. Ms. Buckles writes, Giovanni is a positive role model for his peers, and he establishes positive relationships with them by being kind, honest, and being respectful. He follows school rules, is able to work well in groups, and knows the importance of taking turns. Giovanni is a very hardworking student who always strives to do his best and also demonstrates a high level of personal responsibility. He is a very good citizen and a very positive part of our Middleton Burney Elementary community. It is truly an honor to be his teacher. Keep up the hard work, Giovanni. From Miss Q Banks' this class, we have Daniela Medina. Daniela Medina has been chosen as my terrific kid. Daniela is a well-mannered and respectful student. She has shown fairness, kindness, and respectfulness to her peers in the classroom and around the campus. She is dedicated to achieving her academic goals and puts forth her best effort to accomplish those goals. Daniela is always ready and willing to help everyone and make sure they are on task. Congratulations, Daniela. You are a terrific kid. From Miss Skelton's class, we have Ariel Burgos. Oh, Ariel. Oh, there she is. Ariel Burgos. 
Rose has been working very hard in reading during the past few weeks. She is learning to sound out words, and she tries very hard until she is able to read the word. She is reading more independently and is also earning AR points. Ariel also works hard in math, and she gets along well with other students in the class. Ariel is a terrific kid. From Mr. Moultrie's class, we have Angela Hernandez Santana. <laughs> Mr. Moultrie writes, Miss Hernandez Santana is the embodiment of a terrific kid. Every day in my class, I try to reward the student with the best behavior who has tried the very best to achieve academically. And every day, I tried my very best not to choose Angela, but I always find myself rewarding Angela in some way. Ms. Hernandez Santana's effort and attention to detail academically makes her a very good student, but it's the combination of Ms. Hernandez Santana's effort and her ability to relate positively to her fellow students that makes her a terrific kid. <laughs> and also from Mr. Moultrie's class, we have Teofilo Nunez Santos. Mr. Moultrie writes, Mr. Nunez Santos is quiet and does not say much, but he lets his actions speak louder than his words. While other students sometimes get off task, Mr. Nunez Santos is always focused and on task. Mr. Nunez Santos has successfully passed all of his reading mastery checks this year. Mr. Nunez Santos is an outstanding student, an outstanding young man, and a terrific kid. From Ms. Bowling's class, we have Logan Good. <laughs> Logan is a terrific kid. He is kind and caring. He's a friend to his classmates and has exceptional manners. Logan works very hard in reading, especially when reading all his kindergarten sight words and then some. He just loves to learn. Logan is a joy to have in our classroom. Miss Bowling. Welcome. From Miss Simmons' class, we have Mason Lopez. Mason is an honest and respectful. He goes out of his way to show good manners. Mason comes to class ready to learn each day. He works hard and doesn't give up even when assignments are challenging. Mason is always cooperating with other students and helping his classmates to make good choices. We can always count on Mason to lead by example with exceptional behavior. We are so lucky and proud to have such a nice young man in our class. We love you, Mason. Keep up the good work. From Miss White's class, we have Shakira Cannon. <laughs> Shakira Cannon has been chosen as the terrific kid for Miss White's class. She is the spelling star in our class, making 100s every week. Shakira works hard to learn new vocabulary and reading, and is making great progress in math. She is a friend to all her classmates and will help them whenever they need it. Her sunny personality makes teaching her a joy. She is truly one terrific kid. From Miss Homer's class, we have Angela Lopez Landeros. Here she comes. Miss Homer writes, we would like to nominate Angela Lopez Landeros as our terrific kid. Angela has become a super member of our classroom community. She helps her peers put their things away and is always ready to do the job in the classroom. 
She has made great progress in working on her skills in developing her language and loves to read stories. We are so proud of how responsible she is. Our classroom runs very efficiently thanks to her efforts and we are looking forward to see what she can do. Miss Homer. From Miss M. Walker's class, we have Kevin Resendez. <laughs> Ms. Walker writes, Kevin is a very smart little boy who tries very hard on his schoolwork. He has mastered many skills in class, such as his uppercase and lowercase letters. He comes to school eager to learn and help others in class. His smile lights up the room when he enters the classroom. I'm very happy to have, excuse me, to have had him in my class. Keep up the good work as you start kindergarten next year. From Ms. V. Walker's class, we have Antonio Hernandez Solis. Ms. Walker writes, Antonio is a very cooperative, happy, and loving pre-K student. His willingness to help others has made him one of the most well-liked members of our class. It is a pleasure to work with such a wonderful and well-mannered student. Antonio is truly a terrific kid. From Ms. Osorio's class, we have Jordan back. <laughs> Miss Osorio writes, we are so excited that Jordan is our terrific kid. We have enjoyed Jordan this year as a student and classmate. She is very polite, respectful, and independent, and she likes to be challenged. She is kind and helpful to all her friends. Jordan has a beautiful smile that lights up our room. We see a bright future for her and know she will continue to excel. Thank you, Jordan, for being a wonderful student and friend in our pre-K class this year. From Miss Sargent's class, we have Aaliyah Torres. Aaliyah was chosen as my terrific kid for many reasons. She comes to school every day ready to learn and participate in class. She is very polite and has good manners. She follows the rules throughout the school and will do anything that is asked of her. She is a friend to everyone she comes in contact with. She keeps her area clean and helps keep the room clean as well. She has been working really hard to learn her letters and letter sounds and it has really paid off. It has been such a joy to have Aaliyah in my class this year, Miss Sargent. <laughs> From Miss Craiglow's class, we have Perla Gien Rocha. Ms. Craigle writes, Perla Guillen Rocha is my terrific kid this term. Perla has worked very hard on her skills this year. She strives to be a three in everything she does. I can always count on Perla to make good choices. After learning about filling buckets with kind acts, Perla took this to heart. She especially loves to fill her teacher's bucket. I love seeing her spread her kindness around. Perla loves to read and enjoy a good story. She is a great listener. She has grown so much this year. I look forward to seeing what the future holds for her. I know it will be a great for her because she is truly one terrific kid. <laughs> From Ms. Hebden's class, we have Jason Nelson. Jason is a wonderful role model in class. He strives for excellent and it, excellence and it shows in everything he does. He loves to help others with classwork or just to give a kind word or helping hand. He is a great friend to everyone. His caring personality really shines through in everything he does. Keep shining, Jason, and you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. From Miss Bridges' class, we have Layla Norris. Yeah. 
Miss Bridges writes, Layla is a very kind student who is always very helpful in class. She helps other students and helps her teacher every day. She tries her best and works hard. Layla is a sweet joy to have in class and we look forward to seeing her every day, Miss Bridges. From Miss Pugh's kindergarten class, we have Chance Ray. <laughs> Chance is a terrific kid in my class because he is excited about learning. He participates in the daily routine with a can-do attitude. If something is a little challenging for him, he sticks with it until he understands. One big accomplishment for Chance is achieving 88 kindergarten sight words. Way to go, Chance. Chance is also thoughtful. Each day as he walks down the hall to breakfast, he knocks on my door and waves at me to say good morning. There are reasons Chance is, these are reasons Chance is a terrific kid in my class. From Miss Wingfield's class, we have Levi Martinez. Ms. Wingfield writes, Le Levi is such a sweet and respectful boy. He is always making the right choices and is hard, oh, excuse me, working hard to achieve his academic goals. <laughs> Levi is always a great example for other students to follow. I can count on him to follow directions the first time I ask. He also cares for his friends dearly and loves to help them out whenever they are in need. Levi is normally the first one to run to help if something is wrong. I truly have loved having him in my class this year. Levi, I can't wait to see the great things you do in first grade. <laughs> From Ms. Vegas' class, we have Noah Crook. Here he comes. Ms. Vega writes, Noah was chosen as terrific kid for many reasons. Noah is kind to all and is always willing to lend a helping hand. It is not uncommon to find him learning, excuse me, leaning over someone's desk to explain or help with an assignment. Noah constantly gives 100% no matter the task. I am delighted to have him in kindergarten this year. Thank you, Noah, for always doing your best. Keep up the excellent work. And from Miss Pulam's class, we have Marissa Zargoza. <laughs> Miss Pulam writes, our final terrific kid for the, the year in Miss Pulam's class is Marissa Zargoza. Marissa is such a joy to have in class. She proves to be a very special student right from the start. Marissa approaches each day with a smile. She's a star student who always strives to do her very best. Her classmates adore her, and we waited until the end of the year to award her, as Marissa is totally terrific every day. Thanks for being our ray of sunshine, Marissa. <laughs> From Miss Fitzgerald's third grade class, we have J.C. Bragan. We are proud to announce JC as our terrific kid. JC is a wonderful example setter for her classmates in and out of the classroom. She works extremely hard when it comes to her education and has made strong improvements in her abilities that will allow her to shine. JC has truly flourished and has an incredibly bright future ahead of her. Her personality is vibrant and she is a friend to all she meets. I am very proud of JC and we wish her the best as she continues to rise throughout her education. You are a shooting star, JC. <laughs> From Ms. Harkis' class, we have Jonathan Caro. Jonathan is a very cooperative, happy, and dependable first grader. His willingness to help and care for others has made him one of the most well-liked students in our class. Jonathan is always striving to be the best he can. Watching him learn to read this year has been a joy. His favorite book is Green Eggs and Ham. It is a pleasure to work with such a conscientious, respectful, and responsible young man. Jonathan is truly a terrific kid.
From Miss Canella's class, we have Tamiria Johnson. Ms. Canella writes, Tamaria truly deserves the Terrific Kid Award because she is an exceptional student. She is always respectful and courteous to everyone. Tamaria is truly a taskmaster. She puts first things first and always works hard at every one of her assignments. She always comes into class with a smile and ready to learn. Tamaria is also a good friend to every one of her classmates and is always willing to lend a listening ear. I am proud of her for her accomplishments and positive effect she has on her classmates, and I know she will go far. Way to go, terrific kid. <laughs> From Ms. Bradshaw's class, we have Sierra Marcotte. <laughs> Ms. Bradshaw writes, Sierra is a very enthusiastic student. She has a pleasant personality, and her classmates believe her to be a very trustworthy friend. Sierra takes a keen interest in her work and is a most agreeable and willing worker. Because of Sierra's fine attitude and spirit of cooperation, she has been selected for Terrific Kid, Miss Bradshaw. <laughs> From Miss Miller's class, Caden Cartier. Caden is a very special boy. He comes to school every day prepared to learn. Caden is always helpful to his classmates. He is honest, dependable, and a pleasure to teach. He completes all assignments, to asks questions, and takes ownership of his learning. Caden has the kindest heart of any student I have ever taught. He is empathy, loyalty, fairness, and respect all rolled into one. He embodies all the qualities that make a terrific kid and a kind human being. I look forward to his smiling face every morning. His future is as bright as his sunny disposition. For those reasons and many more, Caden Cartier, you are my terrific kid. All the best. <laughs> From Ms. McGoy's class, we have Selena Mesa. <laughs> Selena Mesa is my terrific kid. Selena is a sweet young lady that is always caring and kind to everyone. Selena always tries her best on all her classwork and assessments. Selena always lends a helping hand to her teachers and peers. Selena is a terrific kid. <laughs> From Ms. Harden's class, we have Javalex Ventura. Ms. Hardenreichs. Havilex is a terrific kid. She is a responsible student that sets a good example for her classmates. Havilex sits quietly and listens respectfully during whole group instructions. She, is also, she also works efficiently and effectively in a group. She comes to school eager to learn each day. Havilex is a great volunteer and is always willing to lend a helping hand in the classroom and around the school. She is polite, responsible, and takes the initiative to get classroom tasks done without being asked. She tries her best to follow rules and keep her classmates and teacher happy. I'm very pleased to have Havilex as a student this year. Keep up the terrific work. From Ms. Guevara's class, we have Trevor Delaney. <laughs> Trevor Delaney is our terrific kid. He was chosen because of his honesty, caring nature, and respect for others. Trevor is very helpful to every one of his classmates. He is a great role model for his fellow classmates. Trevor goes out of his way to show good manners in school. We are proud to have Trevor in our class. He truly is a terrific kid. From Ms. Dean, we have Celeste Perez Conseco. <laughs> Ms. Dean writes, it has been a pleasure teaching this student this year. First, Celeste always puts forth great effort in all she does and never complains about the work. She is a great role model to her classmates. She is kind, respectful, and caring. Everyone loves to be around her. 
Also, Celeste is responsible. She always has the tools needed for class, as well as keeps track of her classroom material. I really wish others could learn this from her. All year, Celeste has strived to do her best, and she has succeeded. That's why she deserves to be a terrific kid. For Miss Calhoun's class, we have John Rail. John Rail is far beyond and terrific. I don't think I could fit the many positive adjectives I could use to describe him on one page. He is so respectful to all staff and students here, and he is never judgmental. His work is always complete, and he never quits. He is like a freight train when it comes to learning his math standards. He cares so much for other students when they are having difficulty with a problem. He actually teaches them how to solve it instead of just telling them what the answer is. He has the personality, drive, and patience to be a highly effective teacher in the future. He is so willing to please, and he does his tasks without complaining. I am so proud of him. I believe in you, John. Never stop being terrific. From Miss Seabanks' class, Rinaldo Serrano Santana. Reynaldo is truly a terrific kid. He comes to school every day prepared to do his best. He completes every task that is placed before him. Reynaldo is a true leader in the classroom. He helps his fellow classmates whenever and however they need him. He never complains about anything. He wears a smile every day, and I never know when he's upset because he never shows it. Reynaldo is a great joy to have in my class. He is kind, respectful, trustworthy, honest, and caring. I'm happy to be a part of his educational journey. Reynaldo, keep up the good work. <laughs> From Miss Osh's class, Esmeralda Alvarado. Ms. Ott writes, I nominate Esmeralda Alvarado. She is a strong, brave, respectful young lady. She shows all character traits in and out of the classroom. She makes great decisions and has blossomed throughout the year. She is kind and helpful, assisting peers in, with academic and social issues. It has been a joy having her in my class. I expect to see great things from her in the future. From Ms. Shaw's class, we have Carmen Galarza Cardenas. <laughs> Carmen is the terrific kid in Ms. Shaw's class. Each day, Carmen ar arrives eager to learn and has a positive attitude. Carmen is also very hardworking and gives 110% on every assignment. Furthermore, Carmen has a beautiful growth mindset and thrives for success. Carmen truly encompasses the qualities of a terrific kid, and I am grateful to be her teacher. Thank you, Carmen, for making the classroom a better place. From Mr. Horace Sex Class, we have Jacob Gonzalez. Right. Mr. Horacek writes, I choose Jacob Gonzalez to be my terrific kid this term. I have seen such a great all-around improvement in Jacob this year. His attendance is superb. His effort in class has improved tenfold. Jacob has always been one of the most polite, cheerful, and intelligent, ki intelligent kids I have known in my many years teaching. Jacob has the greatest chuckle of anyone I have met. When he chuckles, it could make anyone crack a smile. I am not a morning person. Whenever I come lumbering into the school at 7.30 in the morning, the first thing I see in the hall is Jacob sitting there smiling. That is what I have to come to depend on this year to get me ready for the morning. I do not believe Jacob realizes how much of an effect that smile has on the rest of the school. To quote Woodrow F. Call, Jacob is cheerful in all weathers, never shirked by a task, splendid behavior. I am going to miss Jacob next year when he is at Miller Middle School, but I am certain Mr. Adams and Mr. Lee will also come to depend on that smile to make it through their long days. Mr. Horacek. <laughs> 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 
from Miss Guerrero Arias' class, Felipe Serrano Santana. My terrific kid for the fourth nine weeks is Felipe Serrano Santana, also known as Josabad. Josabad is a, an extraordinary student who has shown exemplary character traits. Josabad shows up for school every day with such an enthusiastic spirit. Josabad is automatically motivated to master new skills and hardly ever complains of any assignments being too challenging. He knows what he wants and works hard to accomplish his goals. He was determined to be the top AR reader from my class, and he achieved it. Joseph Bad is already setting goals for next school year. He is determined to start the Cambridge program at Miller, and I believe he will. Students like Joseph Bad motivate me as a teacher to continue showing up every morning to teach my class. Joseph Bad, you are one terrific kid, and I'm very proud of you. <laughs> Ms. Garris nominates Princess Avila. Princess is such a joy to have in class. She is a hard worker and always tries her best. Princess always embraces new challenges and skills at school. I can tell Princess enjoys school from her positive, optimistic attitude. She is extremely helpful and kind towards others. Princess is always willing to participate in class and learn new things. Princess, you are truly a terrific kid. From Miss Rife's class, we have Elizabeth Arizon. <laughs> For the fourth nine weeks, Miss Wiley, Miss Rife would like to recognize Elizabeth Arizon. Although Elizabeth is very quiet, she makes her presence known with her quiet leadership and determination. She is a great example and is always willing to help others, especially those who are in need of a friend. We're very proud of you, Miss Rife. From Ms. Jimenez's class, we have Jezreel Torres. <laughs> Ms. Jimenez writes, in my class when I think of terrific kid, Jezreel Torres is the first name that comes to mind. Jezreel deserves to be terrific kid because he is an exceptional student. He comes to school every day ready to learn. He always has a cheerful attitude when working with his classmates. He is always willing to help everyone in class. Keep up the good work, Ms. Jimenez. From Ms. Wiley's class, we have Melanie Gomez. Ms. Wiley writes, I have chosen Melanie Gomez as my terrific kid. Melanie is energetic, attentive, and works extremely hard in my class. Her hard work and determination are evident in everything she does. She is very interested in learning the material that is presented and is willing to help out in class if asked to do so. She is responsible, courteous, and a great leader. A bright smile and positive attitude makes it a joy to have Melanie in my class. Her enthusiasm is contagious. Keep up the hard work, Miss Wiley. From Mr. Wall's class, we have Arlette Alvarez. <laughs> Arlette listens carefully to my instructions and uses the strategy she has been taught very effectively. As a result, she has shown tremendous improvement this year in her math work. I am hopeful that she may jump two levels on her state assessment in math. In addition, she always has a beautiful smile on her face, which cheers up her classmates and teachers even more, excuse me, even on the most challenging days. It has been my pleasure to have Arlette as part of my class this year, and I am certain she will be receiving more awards in the future. Mr. Wall. <laughs> From Miss Smith's class, we have Christiana Banks.
Christiana Banks is my nomination for Terrific Kid. Christiana has been a huge help this year. She helps oversee our breakfast routines each morning, helps ensure the computers are in proper place and charging, and organizes materials after lessons. She has blossomed in the past nine weeks. The requirement was for our students to earn 30 AR points, and Christiana surpassed that expectation by earning 50.3. She has continued her effort this nine weeks by leading the class in ARL points up until this point. Congratulations, Christiana, for being a terrific kid. Continue your hard work, and I know you will achieve all of your hopes and dreams. Keep setting high goals and work hard to achieve them, but most importantly, believe in yourself. And from Miss Pugh's class, we have Jewel Jones. Ms. Pew writes, I nominate Jewel Jones as terrific kid for the fourth nine weeks. Jewel has been a welcome addition to our classroom, and it seems like she has been here all year long. She has brought her loving personality, willingness to work, and enthusiasm for learning to our home away from home. Jewel makes sure that everyone has what they need in class and has instantly befriended a recent transfer student, making her feel welcome and safe. I love her spirit, and I'm glad she is in my class. Congratulations, Jewel, for being our terrific kid. Ladies and gentlemen, that's our last terrific kid for the school year this year. Before we go, though, I want to tell you a few things. Uh, first off, I want to thank you. Uh, Mr. Wall and Mr. Horacek are sitting out there, and, and they told uh, their students just how important those smiles were to get them through the day. Um, and your students, uh, because of the way you've raised them, help us all to, to really enjoy what we do. You also heard many times that we weren't bragging about grades, we weren't bragging about academic accomplishment. What makes these students terrific is that they show up every day trying to make today better than yesterday. And it's that attitude that's going to continue to make them a success in everything that they do. So before you go, if you'd like to check out your students, you can do so through the front office. Also, if there are any grandparents here and you'd like a sticker, there's a sticker for the parents in the folders, but we have grandparent stickers as well. Thank you for a wonderful year. Thank you for your wonderful students, and uh, have a great summer. Changes catch your eye and you come to realize one can make a difference. Reach out, stand out, find out what it's all about. See it all, stand tall, be there to catch them when they fall. Life is bigger than just one. Nothing changes quite as much as change And the things we rearrange Trying to make a difference Reach down, deep down Look at the sky of another town Listen well, the wind will tell you Something good is in the air oh. Life is bigger than just one oh, oh. But one can make a difference oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh.
Stand tall and be there to catch them when they fall. Mm -hmm. Life is bigger than just one. But one can make a difference. Life is bigger than just one But one can make a difference